We are back with some more Seahawks franchise, and we were at our home opener against the Tennessee Titans with Julio, A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry. I mean, that's a stacked offense. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how we match up for this. I'm going with the same starting lineup. I really don't think we should mess with it too much quite yet. Still some interesting discussions on what we want to do. Um, let me know what you guys think we should do. I mean, obviously we're testing things out, figuring out what we want to do for, you know, start. So that way when we hit week one of the legacy, actual Legacy League in September, we're ready to roll. Uh, I've said a few times already, I think offensively there's really nothing to I think this is like the best way to set us up. Um, I can start Colby because in Madden 21, our Colts franchise, we got Colby Parkinson to kind of a beast. Um, but I just don't see it being worth putting him ahead of Will Disley or Gerald Everett right now. Um, offensive line, like Stone Forsyth, there's really no reason for me. If maybe if he was like a 63 overall, 64 overall, I could maybe plop him over here and try to develop him, make him our future right tackle. Um, I don't see him getting much of an upgrade boost in the preseason as his week one preseason game was not the greatest. Um, I mean... Obviously, Dwayne Eskridge is going to get some playing time as a rookie. We need him to play. He'll be in the slot and stuff. Defense is where I can go so many different directions, man. I mean, our our, our middle linebacker and left outside linebacker locked in. Free safety, strong safety, locked in. Um, but I still don't know if I want Cody Barton to start here, if I want Ben Burkirvan to start here. Um, there was even um, Daryl Taylor was getting snaps at, out, at that spot, you know, in preseason in real life. So... There's even a thing I could throw him out there. Um, even corner, another one. I mean, do I play Trey Brown? I have him currently in the slot, but do I put him out wide? Do I put in DJ Reed? Do I put in Ugo in the slot? Like, I got so many corners that I just really don't know how to go with it because I don't want to, you know, a lot of them are pretty young. I mean, Trey Flowers still has got some some life to him. He's 26, so if I can somehow develop him into a god, he's got you know he's got some time. Obviously, Trey Brown, the rookie, we've developed a lot of rookie corners into gods in these franchises. So that's where I'm like, well, maybe. I mean, Trey Brown's 23. He's got some decent speed. Maybe I just throw him out there and develop him right away. That way, later on the road, he's ready to go. DJ Reed, another pretty solid guy. He's 24, 76 overall. It's like, do I throw him out there? Like, I got so many directions I can go with it. I really don't know. And same thing with the defensive line. I mean, Puna's locked in, and Carlos, I think, is locked in for those two spots. But, I mean, the other defensive end spot, we could throw LJ or Alton out there, or we could throw Daryl Taylor. I mean, Kerry Hyder. I mean, there's just – it's so many ways. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and if I'm being completely honest, I'll probably split it up to where a lot of them are getting playing time. Like when we get into the actual thing, I'll go into my formation subs and mess with all that. Um, I'll have, like right now, currently I have Alton as my um, rush left end. But then, you know, we got LJ out there as our starting left end. So we'll probably mess with it. Let me know what you guys think, though. I, I still don't know what I want to do with this outside linebacker spot. Also, people in our league are already talking trades, getting stuff set in stone so that when the league starts, trades are going through. We only get one trade year one. Year two comes around, then we get three. Um, but only one player trade year one. Some of you guys were saying we should trade Russ, man. And I, I'm just going to be honest. I don't think I can trade him. I just don't see that in the cards. I, I, I'm i going to try to keep Russell as long as I can. The goal is to win Super Bowls. And say if I trade Russell and get a bunch of picks... There's no way I'm winning a Super Bowl year one. There's a good chance I probably won't win year two, and then then, then we just gotta. And then by year three, four, and five, you know, we, yes, we might have a rookie quarterback and be able to spend other places. But um, I think we have to keep Russell. I think we do. Um, Tyler Lockett and Chris Carson both just re-signed, so can't trade those guys. Definitely not trading DK. Um, really, no reason to trade anyone on the offense. I I think it's defense. I mean. I've, I, Bobby's getting up there in age. I mean, there's a. I mean, maybe we could trade him, but I really don't want to do that because I I love Bobby. I mean, the dude's a dude's a monster. Um, Jamal might be re-signed by the time we start, so he'll be on a new deal. I mean, if anything, the only thing I could think we might be able to deal is one of these pass rushers because we have so many. Like you know, they're pretty young. You never know. Just offload one that we're not going to use, or one of these corners. I mean, I really don't see us, or even maybe Marquise Blair. I mean, I, it's just, 
I don't even know if I can make a year one trade. I don't know who I'd want to trade and get rid of. Like last Madden, it was so simple. It was like, okay, we year season one, Marlon Mack, that's who we want to trade. Get rid of Marlon Mack and just roll Jonathan Taylor. That was the easy trade for us year one. I don't know what I want to do, but we got plenty of time to figure that out. Let me know what you, your guys' thoughts are on that, and let's hop into this week two game. Let's be line. We'll be we'll be Jamal back here. Be that safety spot. Pass. Oh shit, dude. Quandre was uh, what really? If that was Quandre's guy, that was bad, dude. That was way too open. A boatload of carries, he says. Okay, Derrick Henry. Not even in the game right now. Wait, I switch it off. I'm on Julio or AJ Brown now. Oh, I'll be, thank you. Can we flip that. Much rather have Jamal be the one blitzing than uh, Quandre. Just saying. That was wide open. Oh my. Oh my. Really? What? AJ Brown just bounced. <laughs> AJ Brown just bouncing off. What? Stuffed ability. What was, was that? Really? That can easily block kicks? Is that what I just read? What they can do now? How does AJ Brown running over everyone like that? That escape artist is crucial, man. I mean, they were getting in there. They were getting absolutely in there. Good block. That was Dwayne, I think. Good block out there. Third and five. Third down already for us here. Let's see what we got. Chris. Get, oh, he dropped it. I mean, that's a tight window. This man straight just dropped it. Second down. Second down. We're going to be Bobby. We'll sit right here. Oh, I thought Trey was jumping it. Jesus. The man absolutely popped him. Picked! Let's go, Trey! Okay! Pick six. Oh, Ryan Tannehill. Seriously. Good. What a read, man. Jump that out route perfectly. Threw that just a tad too early. We had that. That route open just a little early on it. Oh, I see you. Who's that? Gerald Everett. Walk it in. There we go. Trey Flowers getting us the pick. Easy touchdown to Everett right there. Easy, easy touchdown. Good shit, man. Let's go. There we go. All right. 7-7, seven, seven, just like that. Lock in. Trey Flowers again! Oh my god, this man is locked in! Holy shit! Third down. See if I can get Dwayne, maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake, I had him! I had him, but I just, I, I got, I panicked, man. Dwayne was there, but the, that heat, like, made me really, really clammy. I won't even lie. I will not lie, man. That should be money, though. Jason Myers is going to bag that easy. Ready. I dare you, Tannehill, to throw near Trey Flowers. I dare you. Because that boy's locked in. Oh, damn it. I'm sending that heat. You know, I usually, I wouldn't say I would trust Trey Flowers, but, uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No first round picks this year. Will be DJ Reed. Get there. Try. Get there. Kill him. Oh my Trey! Holy fuck, dude. Trey Flowers is having himself a game. Dude, what is something? Someone has possessed Trey Flowers. This man's playing like he's the greatest corner in NFL history. This man is this locked in, dude. I mean, even a field goal here, I'd be I'd be okay. A touchdown here would be great. Obviously, but I see you. Is that Tyler? Oh, it's Dwayne. Good catch. Dwayne Eskridge. He's looking pretty. Looking pretty locked in. I won't lie, my boy Dwayne. Oh, that's a dot. Toe tap at Tyler. There you go. Let's try a little jet sweep. We'll see how Dwayne is with these, because I'd like to run these. I mean, I don't really want to run with Tyler and get him hurt, but I'd like to run with Dwayne. Okay. Okay. We're getting blocks. Okay. Well, shit. Okay, Dwayne. 
Looks like Dwayne Esker just taking all the uh, end around sweeps, all of them. That man has got some speed, and look at Tyler Lockett blocking everyone. Oh, yeah. No, flip it. Come on now. We got to have. Oh, God. Bobby's way out here. Oh, he broke inside. Picked. Oh! <laughs> A Kello Witherspoon, baby. Oh, I don't know what's going on with our DBs. But they are so, so, so locked in today. They, I mean, they really are. Trey Flowers is having a crazy game. I, I was just talking about we could go a couple different directions as well with them. I could, we could start DJ Reed. We could start, you know, Trey Brown. Ugo could go in the slot. But right now, Keller Witherspoon and Trey Flowers are trying to lock in their starting jobs, man. They are, lot, they are just going off right now. They still got plenty of time, though, to do some. Still got plenty of time here. That's a dot. Damn. Second down. Jamal's about to clamp up this tight end. He's going nowhere. Uh oh. Witherspoon got torched. Mayday. Mayday. Oh. All right. All right. I mean, it was a matter of time. I mean, really, I killed the Witherspoon and Trey Flowers. It was only a matter of time before Julio or AJ Brown would make a play on one of them. Uh oh. Oh, I just missed it. All right, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time to uh, see what we got. Let me get, maybe get some more points here. Dwayne open again the sideline. Toe tap it. Dwayne Eskridge is looking nice, man. I mean, him in the slot with my other receivers, this boy's looking locked in. I see you, Gerald. Good catch, boy. Spin on him. Whoop. Oh, oh, get off me. Fucking Ty. Oh, let's go, man. Tyler Lockett almost tried running into me. I think that was Tyler. What a spin move. On the blitz, man. Just had to get that one out quick. I mean, we are putting out numbers on him right now. Eight-minute quarters, and we got 31 already. They're getting smacked. Let's get the ball back. Let's go. I want more. I want more points, man. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. How did that happen? And I ran out of, I just whiffed completely. Jesus, that was bad. I'm not quite sure how we let someone get that open. I'm not going to lie. That was bad. Oh, my God. Julio's eating, eating right now. I don't know about this one, man. They might be getting in the end zone. Second and goal from the four. We're here. We're here. Oh, let's go. Who was that? LJ? Look at LJ getting in there. They're not going to use their timeout. I probably wouldn't as well. So, that, I mean, not saying that's a dumb decision. Uh, I'm going to cover four, yeah. Let me get. Let me, let me change people. What is this? I got stuck on a, on a freaking lineman. Jordan Brooks. Oh, man. Almost. I'll take it, though. I'll take it, man. No block this time. All right. I thought I was getting smacked in the backfield. I'm not going to lie. Fake it to DK. Get a little motion going. Good block. Good block, Gabe. Oh, yeah. This is what we'd like to see. Get some runs going. Get, milk that clock a little bit. Another good run by Rashad. There we go. Third and eight. Gonna be a difficult one to pick up here. Let's see if we can get it. What a throw. Let's go, Dwayne. Dwayne's open. Dwayne is just catching everything. I don't even think DK has caught a pass. I generally do not think DK has caught a single pass. It's because Dwayne is wide open every single play. Hurdle him! Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought he was getting in. I'm really not sure what to do, so we're just going to try this crazy play here. We fake it to Tyler and do a little tap pass here to Rashad. So let's just see how this play works. Oh, that play was beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at us getting getting a little bit of trickery here down in the red zone. 
I like that play though, I really do. Oh yeah. Get in there. I'm run committee. Run left, baby. I guarantee. Run to the left. Guarantee it. Yep. Get his ass. Get that ass. Oh, let's go. Oh, sit down. Look at big Puna. Let's go, Poon. Oh, yeah. Look at Puna. Smacking him. Chose a run. But I think I'm, I'm going to stick with it. See if Chris can just hammer it home and pick this up for us. Good blocks. There we go. Dwayne just always seems to make something happen. That's just what he does. He's just a playmaker. Tyler's wide open. Good catch. So this is the same motion that we got that touchdown off of. But instead, we fake it. It's a little cheeky little pass play here. Okay. Hey, I like that. All right, right up the gut. Just need an inch. Big old Chris right behind our fullback. Easy. Can't stop us. You just can't stop us right now. Clicking. We're clicking. Even DK is finally catching a pass. There we go. Third and five. I'm smart around both those curl routes here. We can hit one of them, pick up the first, not get a touchdown. That would be ideal. Tyler, fall short. Oh, yes, Tyler, you're God. Perfect. Let's go, man. GG's. That is going to be game. We're going to win 38 to 17 here in our week two game. A couple things I forgot to tell you guys at the top of the video. Um, first things first, once the Legacy League starts, I stream every single game I play on Twitch. So I will have a link in my Twitch in the description. So definitely go check that out. Drop a follow if you want to watch the games live. Every single game gets streamed live, so you, you know definitely check that out. Also, for those of you that are wanting to watch the end of my Cowboys Madden 21 franchise, I'm not going to be uploading that to my channel, but I will still stream every single game that we play. Um, so definitely, like I said, click that link in the description if you want to watch the ending of that. We're going to focus the YouTube channel just on the new content here, Madden 22. Um, and get that you know underway um, but I still will play those games and finish that one out on my on my twitch so definitely go follow if you want to watch that but Russell Wilson damn near perfect 19 for 23 248 and three no interceptions Chris Carson 10 for 46 4.6 per carry not bad Rashad 6 for 17 didn't really run that well um, Dwayne Eskridge though 30 yard rushing touchdown is exactly what we want to see out of him he had a crazy game 7 for 79 as well no no receiving touchdowns Tyler 5 for 58 um, Jared Everett 4 for 90 with 2 he had that really long touchdown it was like a 60 yard 53 yarder um, DK had one catch, one for 11. Just It was really just Dwayne and Tyler and Gerald that were just getting open. Not to say DK wasn't getting open, but I just was going to them nonstop. LJ at the tackle for loss and Quandre. LJ also with the sack, our only sack of the game. Two picks for Trey Flowers and a forced fumble. And Akella Witherspoon got a pick as well. I mean, Trey Flowers played amazing. I mean, that dude is playing like he wants to be our starting number one corner come uh, week one of the Legacy League when it starts. We really didn't do much in the second half. I mean, we just had that popped off on the second quarter with all those picks and turnovers and stuff. And that really, you know, sealed the game there. Um, but that is a big win there for us. Got our goals. We'll skip all this stuff. Got some XP, some franchise stuff. I was looking at the skill trees. And you guys can tell me what you think here, but I'll go back and show you here real quick before we wrap it up. Um, I think the best two are my player personnel and Pete Carroll. I think those are the first two I should start on. Um, some of the ones in the Pete Carroll tree that I like are, um, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, access to an additional focus player through weekly strategy. I can get three. So if I can max this tree out and get to here. Um, and get those three, then I can focus train six players instead of just three. So I think that is very important, especially if I can just focus. That probably will be the first thing I do. Um, if I can get that early on, hopefully. I mean, I don't know how the staff points are going to be by the time we start. I, I don't know if there's a way you can make it so you get less or whatever. Um, but if I'm going to try to get this, I think, as quick as I can. That way, um, I'm, I could, those first couple seasons when I got the young rookies and stuff that we're trying to develop and a lot of young guys playing, we're going to be using that. Um, there's a couple on this left side that I like a lot as well. Um, where is it? 
slow this one slow rating regression for one season for one position that'll be good for Russell um, that you know that's that will be good for him uh, what do we got this is just XP stuff um, the player personnel ones there's a couple that I like down here I think I think it's a lot of these are like like this one, 5% discount on players under 80 overall on resign. That's pretty cheeky. Um, the increases the you know likelihood of all these guys signing are pretty good, especially for that under 80 overalls um, in the off season. Um, this one's pretty pointless. I mean, <laughs> non X Factor user players will be valued one dev trait higher than actual in trades. Not that it's going to matter for us with users. That won't matter too much. Um, I mean, there's some there's some decent ones in the offensive coordinator and defensive one. Like there's stamina and there's tackling increases stuff and hit power and strength and you know offense has strength and block run blocking and all that. But I think I think I'm gonna really focus on just Pete Carroll, the head coach tree, and try my hardest to get um, like this one. Mistakes are made. Reset one talent tree. That one I, I probably won't spec into. But if I can get all these, and especially this one, this one is huge. I want those six. Um, players to focus trying that would be great um, if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one